Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a simple but useful feature within uh, PHP Storm and Xdebug. It's called set value, and what it allows you to do is in the middle of executing your code, it allows you to change the value of a variable or several variables. And the purpose of this is to help you avoid having to go back and change your setup, whatever project you're working on. Sometimes, and I'm sure we've all had this kind of project where you've just run through a lot of lines of code and you just want to see what the output of your code would be using uh, different uh, arguments being input into the code. So this allows you to do so without even stopping the execution of your code or having to go back and actually change anything about your code. It's uh, super useful. So I'll, I'll dive right in and I'll show you what normally happens without setting the value and then we'll go ahead and actually change the value. What we're going to do here is we are starting off with uh, two functions. We are going to add and divide and the argument being passed in is the sum number variable and that's equal to 100. So let's set our breakpoint and run our script. And what you should do is keep an eye down here on the get result method. It's starting at zero because that's where we start and then once we run add it will increase to 100 and then once we divide 100 by 100 our expected result is 1. So let's say that now I wanted to add 100 but then for some reason I wanted to see what happens if we passed 50 into the divide function. So this is how we're gonna do it. Let's run our script one more time and run the add function. And so we've got our expected result of 100, but now I don't want to divide it by 100. Let's say I want to divide it by 50. All we're going to do is come down here to the variables pane, find your sum number variable, right click and select set value. And just simply change it to 50 and hit enter. And so now some number is equal to 50. So when I run the divide function, we should get the result of 2. And there it is. So I've just dynamically changed the value of my variable right in the middle of code execution without changing anything. So next time if I want to go back and run it the original way, uh, everything will work exactly as it had before. Uh, and that's pretty much all there is to it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and got something useful out of it. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, please do subscribe to my channel. There are more videos to come.